Hello everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals and I am super excited to be here again with you today. I am working on a journal and I was thinking of some different ways to use my scraps. As you guys know, every time I create a journal, I have a little bin here of all the tears and the offcuts and the papers that I'm using in my journal and I think that for me, making something with all these little scraps creates a cohesive look in your journal. So we're gonna use some of these today and we are going to be creating scrap clusters for your journal. And I'm gonna show you some different ways to use them in your journal and maybe something you haven't thought of. But first off, I wanted to say, Thank you for the overwhelmingly positive response you guys have given me on my last video. That was the first one um, for me coming back from probably a four month hiatus. And I couldn't be happier to be here in my happy place in my craft room, yay! So thank you, Donna, thank you, Shauna, thank you, Allison, and everyone else. I appreciate your comments. So let's get going. So here are a couple that I created. And like I said, they're out of scraps. And I just love these. They add such a great focal point to your journal page, to your tag. And I'll show you ways to use these. And as you know, the current journal I'm working on, I'm using Raindrop Lila's Parisian collection. and. I gotta say, it's it's just stunning. And I showed you guys that in my last video. And I have, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of the pages in my scrap bin here. And as you can tell, I've been tearing, tearing them up. And I just think they're beautiful. So we're going to use those today. And let's just get going. Ah! So what I like to do, like I said, is use the same uh, papers and patterns to create a cohesive look throughout your journal. And this particular journal, I'm using tons of pinks with gold and maybe a little bit of blue and some green as accents. And as you can see on this, that has that specific color scheme going on, as does this one. So let's create some more of these today. So what you're gonna need is any of the, you know, scrapbook paper, uh, digital pages that uh, you're using in your journal. And this can be a scrap busting project too. You don't have to be working on a specific journal theme or anything. It can be fun just to grab all your scraps and just make something with them. And I love doing that. So. Like I said, let's just get going here. And in addition, um, in Lydia's Parisian collection, as you can see, these little, uh, they're kind of like tags. They're a little miniature version of some of her, and that one doesn't have, this one doesn't have one on it, but this one does. Uh, it has a littler image of some of the same graphics that she uses on her pages. And for example, this is one that is on the bottom of one of her tag pages. And I haven't cut these out yet, but as you can see, they're just so stinking cute. So we're gonna use a couple of those today. And let's see, let's just do it. Oh, there's one that I cut up. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Huh. Don't you love looking at this stuff? Eee! It's just so fun. Who knew a scrap of paper could be so exciting and, you know, just want to use them. So, like I said, let's just grab some pages. And this is printed on just a regular sheet of copy paper. It's not a heavy, heavier piece of cardstock. And you you don't have to uh, use all cardstock or all copy page. Uh, whatever thickness you want. I just wouldn't use um, 
everything a thicker cardstock because it may make these uh, scrap clusters a little bit too thick. But there again, that's just personal preference. And I've got some embossed uh, cardstock there that's uh, cream colored. I've got some vintage uh, French catalog page. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, these models in corsets for $1.19. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. So, okay, what did I do? As you guys know, I always like to make an example so that I can refer back to it. I have a lot of these ideas in my head, but then when I come to actually doing the video, I kind of get locked up and say, what was I doing? Ah, so that's why I create these. So, okay, so there's my examples here. And another thing that I wanted to mention is these can be created vertically to be on your page or your tag or horizontally. So that's maybe something to think about, but you know, if not, that's okay. Uh, let's see, so I'm gonna create uh, some vertical ones today. So what I started with was, as you can see on this one, there's a little bit of fabric as is on this one too. There's a little bit of ribbon and this is a um, coffee dyed bed sheet. And I've got a couple of those over here. Let me show you what I did. Now this is obviously another optional step, but I think this, this gives an additional layer of uh, interest and uh, just gives some more texture. So what I did is I just sewed a um, strip of bed sheet and I just folded it over like that and just sewed along the edge here. Now you don't have to sew, you could also glue it. And so these I did, I sewed all of those and here is some of the fabric that I'm using in this journal. I don't know if we'll use all of these today, but just as an example, now if you don't have any fabric, you could also make these little bits with your paper. And like I said, this is regular copy paper. I just folded it over and sewed down the center. Now you don't have to sew. Here is one that was just folded and I glued under each of the little flaps. So I hope I was in frame there. Like I told you guys before, I've got a new setup in my craft room. So whew, let's hope that that worked out. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this as my base layer. I think I want to use the gold the gold fabric here. And this is like a um, beautiful vintage print. I just love it. Oh God, that's pretty. And maybe this over the top. So let's just do it here. Where's my scissors? Okay, so I'm going to start out with this one. And I think, I don't know, use your own judgment. You know, they can be any size. These, this one is a little on the larger side for what um, I'm talking about today. Let's see. So it's about five inches. And this guy's about four. So let's see, and how much is this? It's about five and a half, so okay. We can kind of go with that. So I take that little folded piece of fabric and we're just gonna start layering. So let's do some layering. Take a strip of the uh, torn piece of um, digital from Raindrop Lila. This is one of her tall patterns. And another thing that I wanted to call your attention to is, you guys know I love to layer. And what I'm doing is I'm doing not a neutral, but something because these are uh, patterned, but what I'm trying to say is you're going to want a focal point on top of all of this. So what I mean by that is I wouldn't use your focal point or what you want uh, 
to have your eye drawn attention to. Use that later. So these are all kind of background pages or pages, strips. Okay, so I'm going to just tear that up and they can be, you know, any, any size, any width, anything you want. Now that, see these to me, this to me, I need something that has more color right next to it. So let me see what else I have here. Maybe I'll use that one. So I'm gonna tear off another strip here. I just like um, some of the color to pop against the more neutral. And that's, that's just what um, I like to do. Make sure I'm in frame here. Tear that down. And I'm gonna distress around the edge here. Do that real quick here. So I'm finally settled in my new home. Yay! You know, now it's uh, it's kind of like, okay, you gotta find um, new doctors, new dentists, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm working on now. And that's kind of hard. If you guys have ever, I'm sure you guys have run into that Oh, we're not taking new patients. Oh, you know, <laughs> no, you can get in in six months, you know, that kind of thing. So, and then another thing that I did do on my example here is, whoops, sorry about that, is I did do a little bit of my gold wax on the edges. I like that look. And I actually did this after I put everything together. So you can do that before or after. So I'll do it after just so that we can get going here. And I'm going to glue this down just with my Fabri-Tac. And then I'm gonna add my next layer here. But you know what? Here's something. You, know, you guys know how I love sparkle. I'm going to add a little bit of gold tool to this. And I think I told you guys this a long time ago that I got this whole um, thing of tool at Walmart. Now granted, it was Walmart in another state, so I don't know if they have it where I'm at, but check it out. It's in, it's in the crafting section, if your Walmart has a craft section or, um, if they have a wedding section. They also have it in the wedding section. That could be where it is. So I like the fact that you can see the design behind the tool, but you can still uh, see. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. What am I talking about? It doesn't cover up any of the design is what I'm trying to say here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's that. I gotta make sure that I got the writing straight up. Although that's not the end of the world because yes, I have done that where it's upside down. Ugh. And I like to pull uh, the tool so it kind of sticks out on both sides a little bit. I like that look. So see, that's coming together so quick. And then in addition, on top of that, can use whatever else you have in your scrap pile. So let's see what I have in my scrap pile. I'm gonna move my, my little goodies out of the way here. And I am going to use, let's see, I'll bring this over here. Maybe, hmm, hmm, I have a ruler in there. I've got, Let's see. So, oh, that looks good. Let's see. I think I want to use this. This is a paper bag that um, has some modeling paste, and that is a Tim Holtz, Holtz rose stencil. And I thought that would be really pretty. Look how cool that looks. 
all out of scraps, you guys. It's so fun. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Now that, I think, might be a little big because, you know, we're doing the layering and I want each of the layers to show through. So that looks better like that, just so you can see what's underneath. Like so. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> Ooh, I love that. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Making sure I put my stuff back together. All right. So now, what's the focal point? Like I said, I wanted to use, I got all my little yummies over here. Got my yummies. And I wanted to use one of Raindrop Lila's little um, cards here, or I don't know if she calls them tags, I don't remember, but it's within the tag um, collection here. Oh, so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Oh God, I don't know what to use. Let's go with that. And where do I want it? Uh, me, me. Right in the center, off to the side. I kind of like off to the side. So rather than think about it too much, just put it on there. Now this I um, did not sew after it's all been glued together. This one I did before I put the, um, the focal centerpiece on it. And so sewing is definitely optional on all of these. This one I'm not going to sew. And then from there, sparkle, right? You know me, I've got to add some sparkle. All right, so I have the bling box here. This isn't my big, big, big bling box. This is what I'm using in... Uh, my journal I'm not going to use all of this because that would be a little much although you know me you never know but I'm just trying to see what would look good on that oh don't you love this stuff oh my gosh should I use an applique hmm okay yep we're going to use that and that's a little big I'm thinking, I'm thinking ahead here, which is something I um, don't always do. <laughs> but I'm wondering if I should use this now or later. And I think I'm gonna use this later and I'll show you why in a little bit. So we're going to create another one of these. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna cut this guy down just a little bit, make him a little shorter, and then we're gonna put all these together. So I am going to use that, some of the same similar backgrounds from um, the tall journal pages here. And just get these together real quick these come together so quick it, oh, oh and when um when these go onto your page it looks so good so good you guys it's so fun all right so there's that I need, whoops i need another one i got too many boxes here got too many bins going too many Okay, so what am I doing here? I'll use, and I'm making these very similar, and you'll see why. They don't have to be. Because, like I said, we're doing kind of a, you know, use up your scraps kind of situation here. So I like that. And then I need another piece of that. I need another piece of that um, 
Rose, where did that go? See, this is, this is, this is how my crafting goes. I have stuff on my desk and then I don't know where it went. Are you guys that way? What the heck? Hold on, let me look, hold on. Jeez. You guys, I know it's here. There it is. It's underneath all these, nope, that's not it. Oh man. All right, so this is the as you go crafting, what happens here? So it's not in my bin, so that means it must be on my desk. Aha, yep, see, here it is. Jeez, jeez Louise. So my grandson just had his one month birthday. <laughs> Isn't, that funny? Isn't that cute? Oh God, I just love that. Oh, he just, he's just so cute. He's already opening, you know, his eyes and focusing on things. It's just so fun. Oh, and um, I told my daughter, well, take a picture every month and you'll see the changes because it's amazing how, how quickly they change and just, you know, grow. And it's, it's, it's just the best, you guys. I'm going to have to figure out how often I go see her because, you know, I want to go see, um, see her and my grandson and my son-in-law. I want to see him as much as I can. So I'm going to be doing that a lot. So I'm super excited about that. All right, so here we go. Here's another one. Oh, did I forget the tool? I did, ah, tool, okay. Here's some more. That's why I keep my examples in front. Oh no, I'm gonna to have to flip this up and put my tool on. <laughs> Get my tool on. Uh, I'm just gonna smush it here with the smush technique. I think I need a little more glue. That looks wonderful, wonderful. Okay, and we're gonna put this cutie on the top as the focal point again. I think I might go to the other side. I don't wanna cover up all those roses. Uh, do that, okay, like that. All right. I'm cutting, cutting this tool down a little bit because it was a little large. Okay, so now we've got our two scrap clusters going here. And I'm going to show you how cool these are and some ways to use these. And we might do another one too. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I have created a belly band. You guys know how I like to use belly bands. And this is some of the fabric that I am using, fabric and lace in my journal. Look how awesome that looks on top of a snippet roll. Look at that. Oh, and then depending on your page, putting the two together, right? Spacing them out a little bit. Let's see, depends on how, you know, long your journal is. I thought that doing some uh, sort of, you know, applique or something that connects them. Look how pretty that is. So there's an idea of using your scrap cluster 
on top of a snippet roll. So there is a great idea. And then, like I said, I liked to I like uh, the effect of connecting these two together. And look how pretty that is. Oh, wow. So if you don't want to do that, you know me. I like to add my little bits of bling and stuff like that. Let me look here. So just add a little bit of bling onto your cluster there. Look how pretty those are. So first idea, adding it to a snippet roll. The next idea is using these cuties on top of a tag. So let me get out one of my tags here that um, I'm using in my current journal. This is uh, one of the tall tags from Lydia's collection. Look how pretty that is. So for example, look how awesome that looks just glued on the side. Oh, I think, I don't know, I might do that glued onto the side of a tag and then you can do additional bits of ephemera create a little tuck spot right along the side there like that look at that oh that looks so good Ooh, i love that so adding it onto a tag with a tuck spot on the side. That's another way to use these cuties. Now, let me show you how awesome they'll look on a journal page, just as is. So fun. So here is a page. This is an avocado dyed piece of copy paper that I did do some stenciling around the edges and I sprayed with my shimmer spray. Just putting that right along the side of a page. And then gluing it down, gluing it down like that. And you've got a little tuck spot right along there. Look how cute that is. I love that. So we've got the, you know, just glued on the page. Now, Another thing, check this out. The possibilities are endless. Putting a couple of them together, just kind of connecting them like, like so. So you could make sort of a belly band in a sense, gluing these together and look, all of this on the side. Look at that. I could take a tag, this particular tag and Put it all together like that. <gasps> How fun is that? So collaging them together onto your page. So fun. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, I thought another thing that would be very cute is you could use one of these as a dangle. So just adding I'm going to punch a little hole. Now you don't have to use a crocodile. You could just use an awl. I'm gonna put a little hole in the top of this one. And I'm gonna use the small side of the crocodile. And let me get out. So I've got a little bulb pin with a charm on it. And if I just clip all of this together, like so, and then just add it to the top of your page as a dangle. Or, oh geez, see this is where I get going and there's so many ideas. I don't know which ones to use in my journals because there's so many. Look at this, oh wow. On to, if I can get this to go through, there we go. clipped onto your snippet roll. Look how pretty that is. Oh man, oh, oh gosh. 
Okay, so we've got all of those ideas. Let's see what else. Okay, tucked in on the side of your page. So, okay. Here's another page. This is a um, vintage ledger page that I did uh, use an image. Isn't that beautiful from the graphics fairy? So I've got a little side tuck going here. So you could take your little cluster and just put it on the side of your page. And there again, you've got just a gorgeous embellishment for your page, right? You could put them both together. Oh, I just love that. Or you could use this as a tag or a uh, journaling card on its own. What I would do if you were going to use it as a journaling card is I would use some plain paper. Let me see if I got some here in my stash. Hold on just a second. The ideas are flowing. Hold on one sec. So for example, on the back of one of these, if you wanted to use it as like a journaling card, on the back, you can just do a plain sheet of paper and glue it on. That looks really good. And then you could have some journaling space and make this into a journaling card. Oh, geez, geez, the ideas just are mind-boggling mind-boggling okay now the last thing i wanted to show you guys if i haven't already just bombarded you <laughs> with so many ideas because trust me i tend to get overwhelmed too i really really do so i think we've got time for one more idea making a scrap cluster now this time let me get all my goodies out here these are my examples. Aren't they cute? Love these. I'm getting crowded. Getting crowded here again. Okay, so this time, let's say you don't want to add any fabric at all. We could just do a page cluster on the side of your page. So let's do that. So I am going to grab another sheet of my scraps and let's see this time is that the same one it is <laughs> I was thinking okay let's use something different and then I grab the same one oh well that's okay that's what makes my uh the, my journal pages go together is I do use something similar on each page and that's not to say that the eclectic work doesn't ele eclectic look doesn't work too whereas you use a whole bunch of different stuff. I love that too. So when I say, um, you know, I'm using the same one on each page, that's just how I like to put my journals together. You don't have to do that. So here again, I'm tearing off one of the, um, tall page, um, all pages from the collection and like I said she already uh, kind of collages the uh, images and I just think that's wonderful so I tore a page or I should say a piece that's about an inch on each side of your page I think let me look yeah about an inch and a half so what I'm going to do for this cluster is we're going to kind of fold it over. And for this, I would use the thinner pieces of paper just because we're going to do some layering again and I don't want to make this uh, uh, cluster on the side of the page too thick. Ouch. Owie. <laughs> my elbow on the on the table here so I'm using my glue stick and I'm just going to get a liberal amount and we're going to do 
half on each side or approximate. It doesn't, you know, I, this is where you don't have to be exact. And I'm folding it over so that it gets right onto the edge of the page, maybe. Let's see. Hold on. Get that to go right onto the page there. Like so. There we go. Get out my bone folder here and make that flat. Now I didn't do it exact on the bottom, but that's okay. Just kind of tear it and then, oh, nobody ever knows. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> okay, another scrap. Let's see. What do we have? Let me get my box out here, my little bin. What? I don't know. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now this, I know what I'm going to use. Hold on a second. We could use a music sheet. Yeah, we use a music sheet. And then maybe, let's see how this goes together. I don't know. On this side, this is a French check. <clears throat> but I think I want to use the music first. So I'm just going to tear this down. And I like, I like to have it um, kind of jagged on each edge. And this is really fragile, so it's really hard to tear. All right, so we'll do that. And there again, we're just layering it up. Using our scraps. Got to be careful on this with the with the glue because it tears really quick. All right, that looks fabulous. And then I don't know, you guys. I'm gonna tear this up into a smaller piece. Let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks really cool. I'm gonna distress that up. Stick that on the page. Just looking to see if that's uh, centered or is it wonky? Let me look here, you guys. No, it's not wonky. Okay, and I'm going to put that right along there like so. Now, again, I want a focal point on this. I think that looks really cool just like that. I'm going to distress the edge. And I'll probably do something on this side too. But for now, let's find a focal point right in the center of that. <clears throat> I saw something similar to this, and it was on Pinterest. And of course, I like to share where I get some of my inspiration because I feel that, um, you know, letting you guys know and giving the person that created this who inspired me credit for. It was art, let me see if I say it right, art by B. Dell. And she posts a lot on Pinterest and it's just, she's awesome. So look at how cute this is. So you could leave it as is or there, like I said, I always like to have a focal point. You could do, something like that. Look how pretty that is. Just a pretty little uh, um, die cut. So that looks wonderful. You could use what you already created and do that right over the top of that. Look how good that looks. Oh man. And then, you know, here we go. Here's me adding ephemera, right? To add this on top of that. Oh, oh, look how good that looks. 
oh my goodness. And just a little added touch. I thought this would look really cool is if I can find it. I'm gonna do a little stamp. Now I'm going to use my uh, walnut stain, which is, you know, my go-to. You can use any color you want. I'm just gonna go across the top. And I am, I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Hmm. Let's just try a little bit right along there right along there, see if we can get that to go. And I want it kind of random, right? A little random, just so that you've got a little bit of extra interest on the page. Oh, I just love, love, love how that turned out. You guys, this is awesome, awesome. So there you have it. Let's go through what we did. Okay, so on top of your snippet roll, remember that? So just layer, layering them on top of your snippet roll. Where's all my examples here? Like so. Look how fun that looks. And then adding an applique over the top just to connect everything together, I think is just awesome. So we've got on top of a snippet roll. Now remember, your snippet rolls can be either way. Look at that, going horizontal. How cool does that look? Oh, so there's one idea. We've got where it's clipped on the top of a snippet roll. It doesn't have to be clipped on the snippet roll. It'd be clipped on the top of your page with the little bulb pin. So we've got that. Taking a tag and adding it right along the side and creating a little tuck spot like so. And then what else did we do, you guys? Kind of the summary here collaged onto a page. So we've got two of them collaged onto a page like so. Look how fun that looks. Mm. Just glued right to the page. <laughs> and then if you want, you can have additional tucks underneath. And then we just did a flat page cluster on the side that you can add a focal point to, you know, just with, where's my um, other one here? You know, just with that. Doesn't that look good? So I hope you guys try this. They're so fun and so quick to come together. Look at all of these cuties. Yeah, hey. Ooh, I can't wait to show you these, how they're gonna end up in my journal. So have a wonderful day, you guys. Go grab some scraps and make some clusters. It's so fun. So thanks for being with me today and I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.